I volunteered to work in a tuberculosis clinic in New York City in the early 90s. Working in that clinic, my tuberculin test converted from negative to positive. I was fortunate in that my TB infection didn't progress to TB disease. I'm Dr. Tom Frieden, director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. I've known of healthcare workers who got multi-drug resistant tuberculosis from working with tuberculosis patients. Here they were trying to help others and they ended up getting infected. No healthcare worker should have to choose between their health and their work. As doctors and even medical students, I think you're exposed to a big volume of sick patients. It's so hard to trace who has TB and who doesn't. You could say that almost everybody that you tried to examine could potentially have TB. Everywhere healthcare workers are suffering and they are frightened. There are so many cases of nurses and community health workers and even doctors getting affected. They are not just doing it as a job, a nine to five job, eight hours job, and they get a certain amount of money. They are doing it because they are here to help people. Healthcare workers are part of the community. They provide the support to the community to get the services they need. And if healthcare workers are at risk, are getting sick, especially if that's preventable, we're not doing what we could and should do to protect and promote our community health. We think of TB as a disease that affects other countries, that you know tuberculosis can affect us. If you have a disease that's airborne, no amount of money is gonna save you from getting that disease. As long as you breathe, as long as you're walking around and there are people around, anyone can actually get TB. Healthcare workers in general are scared of getting TB. Just because you are negative now doesn't mean that you won't actually become positive. When any healthcare worker, a student or a faculty or a staff gets tuberculosis, it hits closer to home and it touches the heart. We cannot sit back and watch this deadly disease devour our colleagues. If we can't protect our healthcare workers, then we can't run our healthcare system effectively. So it's important not only as a matter of human rights, but as a matter of basic protection and our ability to function as a society. Even with our best efforts, tuberculosis continues to kill more than a million people every year. And though we can treat it and cure it, a vaccine would be our greatest hope. We need to figure out new approaches to making a vaccine and new approaches to testing and implementing vaccine trials. The more progress we can make, the more lives we can save.